guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is cd i am new here like a hundred percent new this is my very first video so yeah you can call me a newbie or whatever so i thought of um i thought my first video should be more of a question and answer and this is how you can actually get to know me so we'll go straight into the questions my full name my full name is Faith Sidi Ngade. Yes, I know most of you know me as Sidi Ngade, but my first name is actually Faith. For the few people who know my name as Faith, that means to metoa nambali sana. And is a primary, and is a kindergarten. Yeah, my full name is Faith Sidi Ngade. Where are you from? I'm from the coast, Mombasa to be precise. Uh, my mom comes from Malindi and my dad comes from Kikambala, so me name Kosti. Top three favorite subjects in high school. Yes, number one, geography. I loved geography so much. I enjoyed geography. In fact, I felt like geography answered most of the questions I've always had. Number two, Kiswahili. I enjoy Kiswahili because I felt like Kiswahili was effortless for me and I pretty much enjoyed the set books. Yes, Kinada Munyeusi, Kidaga Kimemozem, Stahikimea. If you know any of those set books, kindly comment on the comment section below. And uh, number three, biology. I loved biology. I enjoyed the practicals and biology is just amazing and we had ama amazing teachers as well so yeah that's pretty much it let me add my last favorite subject CRE I enjoyed CRE the people we went to school with the people we went to the same class with will understand how enjoyable CRE was <laughs> sorry anyway yeah on to the next question for this destination my father's destination has been to Tanzania. Yes, he went to Tanzania in uh, 2012. And we, we were able to visit Moshi and Arusha. Those places were amazing. They are beautiful. I loved each and every day of it. The people who were there made it so memorable. We took some pictures and wow, it was so much fun. Huh, my next question. Um, any talents yes i do have talents let's call them talent stroke hobbies because i confuse them anyway so number one i love cooking yeah i enjoy cooking i feel like cooking is effortless for me i would cook 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 and you know make myself happy by cooking and uh, number two yeah i sing from time to time I used to be in the choir back in school. I used to sing in church and yeah, I pretty much enjoyed it. Next question. Any bad habits? Any bad habits? Yes, I am guilty of very many bad habits, but uh, I will mention only two and actually those are the two bad habits that I can say I really possess. Number one, I am I am a poor texter. <laughs> yeah, I'm a poor texter. My cousins are always complaining. My friends are always complaining. You know, for me, I feel like WhatsApp is the one application that I have that I need, but I don't necessarily like it. So, yes, I have struggles with... Um, texting maybe if you reached me on my dm i'll be able to dm back but whatsapp oh wait whatsapp is a whole other sport by the way and then number two my bad habit is i have a tendency of leaving things open yeah i mysteriously leave things open i leave bottle tins open bottle cans open i leave tins open i leave doors open imagine i walk into a room I walk into a room with the door closed but I leave it open and it's not like it had registered in my head that I had left the door open. It just happens. I leave things open. 
the bugs for instance i i will go get something from a bug i open the bug i get the thing and then that's it and it doesn't just click in my head that i've left something open it doesn't you know my sister and i used to fight over this very many times and she's like you know cd closing a bug is just like opening a bug and only that you're doing it in reverse and i'll be like okay i am sorry but unfortunately i have grown with that and i don't know how to put an end to that as well yeah so those are two of my bad habits uh next question favorite couple I pretty much love, 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 love the Lord Jesus family. The Lord Jesus, those come first to me. I love them so much. And I love mostly how they are so deeply rooted in Christ. I love how they do everything around Christ. I love how their life revolves around Christ. I love how they've just changed our perceptions into making us feel like marriage in our generation works. You know, actually, that is what I am aiming for as well. You know, every girl needs a happy ever after anyway. Every girl wants a happily ever after. And my second favorite couple is my parents. Yeah, I love my parents so much. I feel like um, the two of them working together has made me the person I am today. And I am grateful for that. Yeah, we thank God. Huh? My next question. Have you ever lied about your age? No. I don't lie about my age. <laughs> I I don't see the need to lie about my age anyway. So <laughs> next question, are you a dog or a cat person? I love cats. I love cats. I think cats are cute. They are small, they are cuddly, and they don't bark. So yeah, I'm a cat person definitely. But I don't mind dogs. Uh, next question what is something you look forward to doing after retirement uh, first and foremost I'm not even employed <laughs> well I'm not employed yet however um, after my retirement I look forward to becoming a farmer yes I love agriculture, I love everything to do with farming, and I feel like retirement is the best time for me to dive into the agriculture sector because I'm gonna be there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna work hands on, you know, instead of just having to employ people and you are far away, maybe studying somewhere, maybe pursuing something else somewhere, you know, so I feel like after retirement I can be there rooted on the ground and doing things on my own and helping the people i would have hired the next question and this is gonna be my last question unfortunately purpose for this channel i can say that i have dissected this channel into three and that is faith love and lifestyle Yes, in faith, we're going to look at uh, matters of faith. We're going to look at how God loves us and how we, what he expects from us as Christians. And uh, in love, we're going to look at dating and relationships. We're going to look at the do's and the don'ts. We're going to look at the myths and the misconceptions we have about dating. And we're going to have a good time, trust me. And in lifestyle... Trust me, we're gonna have a good time. You're going to enjoy yourselves and you're gonna learn something. So, yes, interesting, right? So don't forget to share this clip, share this uh, link to your friends, share this to everyone, even the non-Christians, share it to everyone. You're all gonna benefit and you're all gonna enjoy this. Thank you so much and see you in the comment section. Bye.